Tisha was one of those who just went all over the place. If you look at the anatomy, it doesn't really hold up. Bougarol was dead on every time. But even Sargent's stuff, so the elongations he did, like this is Philip Dean Stokes, was a perfect example of really uh, 14 heads. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, although I yeah, although I will say that Bougaro also liked to push things a little bit. You know, they weren't perfectly, perfectly. I mean, he he did know his anatomy, that's for sure. But he always pushed mm-hmm. that gesture to the edge, the believable edge, I would say. Yes. One of the things you don't notice about Bougaro is every, every toe, especially a woman's toe, the foot was painted perfectly. Every knuckle, every foot was painted with precision. There was always long. It was, it was just... Uh, cliche toes but well done toes but not everyone has toes like that no he was definitely um idealizing them to the you know the Mm -hmm. the greek uh the greek sort of way of doing it um and if you look really close to his paintings too he was even going as far as to putting the the underlying veins on the hands yes which is insane i i admired that i've actually tried to do that and figure out how to get it and I think I know now, but that's a lot, lot of work. It is. Yeah, a lot of accuracy, too, because, you know, the vein has to be just visible enough, but not too visible that it, like, detracts from the form of the hand. Because hands hands mm-hmm. are already hard, as they are. Uh, so Bougaro just taking it to that next level is a little bit uh, daunting. It's admirable. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, uh, it's like, why? <laughs> but at the same time, why not, you know? <laughs> Actually... You know, I, I spoke to your teacher, John Angel, about uh, mm. Rose techniques where he would he would have the ca- a canvas and he would do the ink to dry and he wanted to isolate the ink and they would varnish over the ink to isolate that from the subsequent um, oil paint. And these are not standard procedures. We're taught not to do that, not put the varnish underneath. But it's also interesting how well his paintings have held up through the years. It sort of yeah. contradicts what we're taught. 